Hi everyone, welcome. In case you haven't heard, we've decided to open source the Dash AG Grid feature. I've invited Plotly's CTO, Alex Johnson, to share some information about this exciting news. Alex, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Adam. Alex, can you please tell me what is Dash AG Grid? Yeah, so AG Grid is the best way to display and work with tabular data in the browser. Uh, you can display mixtures of text, graphics, and even charts. You can edit, you can filter, you can interact with the data in all sorts of different ways. Uh, and it's backed by a company, AG Grid, that focuses 100% on this problem. So it's always going to keep getting better. Nice. Sounds like a pretty powerful tool. Why, why have we decided now to make Dash AG Grid open source? We first wrote Dash AG Grid a couple of years ago for a customer of ours. Uh, and you know, making a Dash component for AG Grid takes it beyond the realm of JavaScript developers and makes this super powerful grid accessible to data scientists and Python coders. At first, we kept it closed source as part of Dash Enterprise, uh, so we could focus on the use case of our specific customers. Uh, but as more and more of our customers started using it, and as more and more of our community members started asking about uh, AG Grid support, we realized we could make this even better and get it into the hands of a lot more Dash users if we released it open source. Cool. So it sounds like it's becoming has become a lot more popular. Um, how would you say Dash AG Grid is different from Dash Data Table? As soon as we started dreaming up Dash, we knew it would need to include tabular data. And Dash Data Table has always been our official answer to that. Uh, but there's so many things that people want to do with tabular data, so many different things they want in the grid, so many different ways they want to display and interact with that data. And we've built a lot of these into Dash Data Table. But AG Grid does all of that and a whole lot more. Uh, things like movable columns, uh, built-in calculations, uh, drill down grouped rows, uh, and they do it all with a beautiful style and a modern look that while it's possible to do all of this, uh, well, get that look in Dash Data Table, it's much easier to achieve with AG Grid. I will say though, uh, Dash Data Table is not going away. Uh, we'll continue to support it for a long time, but I am thrilled to be adding AG Grid to the open source Dash ecosystem. And I'm really excited to see what our customers and our community can do with it. Me too. And for that purpose, I know that we are going to have this webinar on Jan January 26. Um, what, what can you tell us? What are we going to go over during that webinar? We'll give a demo of the new Dash AG Grid component and some of the ways you can use it in a Dash app. Um, we'll go into a bit more detail about the differences between Dash AG Grid and Dash Data Table. We'll talk about uh, AG Grid community versus their enterprise edition. And we'll talk about how all of this relates to Dash Enterprise. Nice. So there's a, a full a full hour of, of content and new information to share during this webinar. Uh, thank you, Alex. I'm really excited and, and happy that this feature will be shared with our community. For those of you that want to learn more, don't forget about this webinar on January 26. Register via the link below. Thank you all. Hope, hope to see you all there.